How's it going, everybody? My name is Infamous Isaac, and I'm here with a video on a multitude of things, right? So usually when I watch something, whether it's a show, a movie, any stuff like that, I make a video on it, and I review it, basically. But over the course of the last three months, from like October all the way to January, I haven't had a lot of time to individually, one by one, make a video on everything that I've watched. So I thought, why not try my best to make like short little reviews into this one video where I just talk about some things that I watched over the course of those three months. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. And the fight biting the finger. the finger. So we're going to kick things off with Intergalactic, a movie and an album mostly produced by Kid Cudi. And I thought that was pretty dope, so that's why it was on my radar. But I just never got the chance to get around, even though it came out around like 2022 or something like that. So when me and a couple of my friends watched it on Thanksgiving, I was like, oh shoot, all right, bet I want to make a video on this movie. And my opinions on it overall, it was a pretty good movie. I say it's like a 7 out of 10. I definitely say watch the movie first before you listen to the soundtrack if you're interested in it because the soundtrack is pretty good and it fits the movie in my opinion. To boil it down to its simplest form, this is a movie about a guy who moves to a new city after breaking up with his girlfriend like a while ago trying to find some new beginnings, start a new job, and he meets this girl who messes up his whole world in a good way. The two hit it off and they just have to go through relationship problems throughout the movie fighting themselves and trying to find a world where they can both be together and that includes some of their friends chiming in to give their opinions the ex-girlfriend all that type of stuff and we just get to see this beautiful relationship blossom it's like a, a rom-com in a sense more rom than calm but it does have its funny moments it its jokes did get me sometimes but overall i thought that the music was good the animation was great because it was sony who animated this the same people that made spider-verse so that was also another reason why i wanted to watch it i thought the story was pretty engaging even though it's super simple at the end of the day simple isn't bad and so it just got me from the start. The voice acting was surprisingly good. I didn't think Kid Cudi would be a decent voice actor, which isn't a slight against him. It's just more like usually when you have celebrities voice acting, like let's say LeBron James, it doesn't come out very good. You also have Macaulay Culkin, you have Jaden Smith, you have a bunch of actors that just show up and it's pretty dope. It's runtime too isn't even that long. I think it's like an hour and 40. So it's a pretty decent watch for what it is. I would genuinely recommend this movie if you like if you like romantic comedy, if you just like romance in general, or if you want to listen to Kid Cudi music in a movie, or if you like the animation, or if you like Spider Verse and stuff like that. Like this movie, it's not it's not for children. I can see that for sure. This is for like 18 year olds and above. But I could recommend it to anybody of that demographic. It's just a fun, great movie. I genuinely felt happy watching that movie. But that's all to say, again, this is a 7 out of 10 movie. Now, we move on to the next one. Say my name, I know you must so next we have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Funnily enough, I actually watched this movie immediately after Intergalactic, so it was on the same day. But as far as my thoughts go on this movie, I think it's like a 6.5 to a 7. And this movie is definitely a product of its time. It came out in 2010, and by extension, the entire movie is based around that time period the hairstyles the comedy the interest the hobbies the story and when i go to watch the show that's on netflix i wonder how different it's going to be is it going to be influenced by 2023 stuff or is it going to be still 2010 type stuff but that's not to say that i don't enjoy scott pilgrim i thought it was a pretty fun movie but but in my opinion it was hampered down by its age because some things didn't age well in my opinion for instance the cgi just didn't look great some of the actors were all right but overall a lot of the main characters gave pretty good performances in terms of the music i thought the music was fine you know if you like that type of music you're gonna really enjoy this movie but for the most part i enjoyed it but I wasn't like, oh my goodness, I'm frothing at the mouth at this music. The fights in this movie, though, I gotta give it to them. They did pretty hard on it, especially the last fight in the movie. It was pretty hard. It was pretty hard. The story itself goes as follows. So, so Scott Pilgrim, after letting go of his 17-year-old girlfriend, by the way, he's 23 years older on this point. He is not a good person. I want to stress that. He meets this girl named Ramona Flowers, who messes up his entire world 
in a good way. <laughs> but once they start dating, Ramona tells him like, oh, so I have seven other evil exes that formed a group together to basically just come and beat you. And if you can beat all of them and I think you're straight, I think you'll be my boyfriend like for good. Granted, she didn't orchestrate this. It's just that her boyfriends are really really bad people most of them not all of them so throughout the whole movie scott has to go through and beat all of her exes leading up to the final one in the end a lot of stuff happens in between but that's basically the gist of it and the plot's simple i have no problem with it i think it works well for what it is because i still have to go read the comics myself to see how faithful the movie was or how good of an adaptation it was but for the most part people say it was a pretty good adaptation but also this movie just influenced a lot of people in this generation like the 2000s kids that grew up seeing this movie were heavily influenced by that and, and i can't sit here and act like the impact that this movie had on a generation wasn't huge like some of my friends love this movie but for me overall if you grew up with this movie you're gonna love it but if you watch it now it's like oh i mean this is fun but it's not a great movie i think it's all right i'll definitely again say it's a 6.5 to a 7 at its best but like a 5 at its worst but with that being said, let's move on to the next show. With that marks the end of this video i'm gonna try my best not to make these too often because i want to have series get their own special videos but sometimes i just don't have the time to make individual ones so these will come in clutch in the near future but i hope you all have a great rest of your day thank y'all for watching stay safe out there and until next time it's been infamous isaac and i'll see you all in the next video peace